You guys, I've been wearing the cheapest powder, this kind, and it is just mm, not good. <laughs> I had it left over from, I don't even know, like so long ago, and I ran out of my nice powder, and so that's just what I've been using. Wow. Whew. It's rough. But I got some new powder, as you guys will see today since my sister is getting married and we're gonna be in Florida. I do not need to be looking crusty for those things. That's as good as I'm gonna get. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy you're back. And if you're new, hi, my name is Anna. And today's video is a shopping haul. So this is my first haul here on my channel and I'm very, very excited because I spent some money, not a lot though. I'm a very, very smart shopper, you could say. I don't spend my money on things that I know are not worth it, um, but other times I do spend my money like where I know there's quality or whatever. So you guys will see, um, I got stuff from Target, I got stuff from Ulta, from my salon, from Buckle, and I'm very excited to share with you guys. Usually I don't like go shopping on in one big day. I kind of like spread out my shopping like I might get one thing here or there to kind of add to the collection, but it was time for some things and so yeah. If you're interested in that then just keep watching. I'm going to start off with personal care. So, I went to Ulta and I just got some things that I didn't necessarily, I mean, I did need these, like I probably could have survived without them. However, the first thing is this TG Bedhead Wax Stick for your hair, and I will link everything below. Um, the Amazon links, if you shop through those, I do earn a small commission. Otherwise, um, other links, I'll just like, you know, all to links. I don't make anything through there, but I will link them there for you guys if you want to get something. Um, anyway, so this is so cool because I always have used my husband's thick styling paste to um, slick down my hair, but I just used this for the first time yesterday and it slicked my hair without making my hair feel disgustingly greasy, heavy and gross. And so I really love this because like honestly, it's still in my hair, but my hair is still so soft and clean feeling today. I just love it. So this is like, oh my gosh, game changer for me. Because when I slicked back my hair before, I had to make sure that uh, I washed my hair, you know, right after. All right, next up from Ulta, I got the Laura Mercier powder. This is the talc-free version. And I'm super excited because I've been using a very cheap powder lately. This is so good. I just love this stuff. It's so blurring. It lasts all day and it's talc free. So it's healthier for you. If you guys don't know, talc in makeup is like a known carcinogen. And especially in loose powder, I feel like it's kind of important to have a talc free version because when it's loose, the powder kind of gets in the air. Now, I know that, like, for example, my physician's formula butter bronzer, well, I'm pretty sure this has talc, but it's pressed, and so it's not, like, clouding up like the loose powder does, and so I'm very excited to have this again. This is a splurge for me. It's so hard to spend a $48 or however much this is on a powder, but it is definitely worth it because, as you guys just saw in the blooper, like, my makeup did not last with the cheap powder. So this is definitely worth it. Oh my gosh. Then from Ulta, this might be my favorite thing. I don't know. I got so many good things. The wax stick was so good too, but this is the limited edition tree hut scrub in the scent boba milk tea. You guys, <sighs> it smells so good. I feel like I could eat this or drink it. Um, it's, it just smells so good. It makes me happy. Um, the really good thing about this is I think that it's a very good transition scent, 
Now, what I mean by that is I have like coconut lotion right now because I love to smell like a coconut in the summer. And this goes with the, with that lotion, like with that scent. This isn't too fall. It's perfect for in between. So this will be good with my coconut lotion. But then when I switch over to like my pumpkin spice or apple-y scented lotions, this will also go with those. So this is just perfect. I love this. I used it the other day. It was so exfoliating and moisturizing at the same time. I love Tree Hut Sugar Scrubs. It's definitely my favorite. Next up, I got this NYX lip liner. I love NYX lip liners. They're cheap. They're, they stay on really well and they have beautiful colors. I really like a nude that is more like a mauvey pink nude versus a brown nude. And this is the shade Gold Getter. I think I have the other like pinky nude shade. I knew I couldn't find it though. And that's why I got this one because we are going to Florida and I just, I have to have my pink nude lip liner. But I think the other shade is called Pink Nude, but it's a little more cool toned. And this was a little more like warm pink. I just thought this was a really gorgeous color. My favorite thing to do is lip liner and gloss and call it a day. And then from my Aveda salon that I go to, I got a brand new shampoo and conditioner. This is kind of a boring thing I guess but I really do like Aveda products um they're all like you know plant-based really healthy ingredients and so I got the color control because I did your girl went dark again this is like actually my favorite hair color like of all time like I love this hair color I feel like myself with this hair color and I need to get it done more often but it's expensive because I have a lot of hair and so maybe I don't know. I want to get it done more often so I can look this fresh, this shiny and soft all the time. Plus it fades, but it does fade pretty nicely. Um, but yeah, this hopefully will keep the hair color in for longer because before I got like the cherry almond Aveda shampoo and it's color safe, but it's not color protect. There is a slight difference. And then I didn't have I think I had a color safe conditioner, but it wasn't even a beta. So hopefully the color will last longer with these. They also have a color control like spray that you can spray your hair to. And so um, I just started with this though, because these are kind of pricey. Moving on, I went to TJ Maxx and you guys, I'll start with the one that isn't as exciting. So this is just a soap, obviously for our kitchen. I thought it was so cute because checkered buffalo plaid um, and it's in the shape of a pumpkin. It is cinnamon and spice scented. I don't even think I smelled it. I just knew I liked the bottle. Oh yeah, that's spicy. <laughs> that smells just like cinnamon gum. I should give this to my father-in-law because he really likes cinnamon gum. I should like go back and get, get him one. I actually have been really good this year with Christmas gifts. I've been writing down everything. Like if people say they like something or if I notice something, I will write it down in my notes because I feel like at Christmas, it is so hard to think of things. So I've been writing like stuff down and I just thought of that. Like my father-in-law loves cinnamon gum. And so I should just like get him some cinnamon stuff. I don't know, I feel like that'd be cute. Anyway, this is really cute. I wanted something, I have to be very specific with the bottles that I get because I hate when they don't fit like on the counter or like on the sink part on the sink base and so this should be small enough to fit this was only five dollars from TJ Maxx and then this one this one you guys this one's so good I love it I am obsessed with this it is like solid definitely refillable it's almost is this ceramic it's like not plastic well maybe it is plastic but it's a thick it's a good material haunted halloween refillable hand wash and that's why i got it because it was refillable we are obsessed with like houses christmas houses halloween houses and i feel like a pumpkin is so you know cliche like everyone has pumpkin soap or a skull you know soap bottle but the house i was like this is the coolest thing and so I'm going to put this in our guest bathroom. I just think it's so cute. And I know it's very literal, very cheesy, but that's like my favorite kind of decoration. And I'm not even going to apologize for it because it makes 
uh, me happy. It makes my husband happy. Our house feels like such like a home and it's just so fun to have that cheesy like fun decorations and so yeah I'm really really excited to put this out because right now I have all of our fall and Halloween stuff out but we have lemon hand wash containers and so like the lemons are not are not it are not vibing with the rest of the decorations now moving on to accessories shoes and clothes let's start with accessories i love accessories um first up i got two for 22 dollars at buckle sunglasses and i literally got the same exact shape because i am so picky with sunglasses i threw all of my sunglasses away one pair broke and so i really only had two left and they were cheap they were scratched and i threw them right in the garbage uh two for 22 is really good because i'm sure they're trying to get rid of them after summer and so I got the same exact shape but different colors so these are black and rose gold oh yes it's a moment I'm gonna be going taking these to Florida definitely I am just obsessed with these I love when my eyebrows show a little bit um, but not fully and I just love this shape and I knew I had to get two pairs because I like to keep one in my car and then one in the house. And then these are the other color. These are like a tortoise shell color pattern, you could say. This one is kind of uneven. I have to fix the nose pads, but a little bit of a lighter look. I love these two. They're just such a vibe. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. I have not bought sunglasses in so long and I never would wear my old ones because they were just so scratched. So I would just go with no sunglasses, which is dumb because they're so nice. <laughs> also from Buckle, I got this gorgeous, gorgeous star necklace. It's so pretty, you guys. It's 15 inches plus three inches. So, oh my gosh, I don't even, I, I knew I looked at that, but I don't know how long 15 inches is. Is 15 inches long? No, I think this is 15 inches and that's not too long. This is going to be such a pretty layering piece. I'm so excited. I haven't bought jewelry in a very long time. I just kind of tend to wear what I have and I never think I need any new, anything new and I just don't want to spend money, but it was time. Like it was real time. I had like no necklaces left because once they tarnish or like wear out, I'm going to throw them away. Sometimes like the clasp would break or whatever. And so then I got this piece. This is three separate pieces, but I love that one of them is beaded gray. One is flowers and it has little pearls. And then this one's just like little beads that are hanging. I hope you guys can see this. And then I'm super excited about this too because my inklet that I have is so tarnished. I've been needing to throw it away for a while. Um, but this is so pretty. It's kind of like giving me boho gypsy flower child vibes because it has, so I don't know if this is three separate pieces or if this is one piece, but like three chains. Let me open it up and see. But one is, one is a flower, like pretty flowers. One is just a gold chain and then this one's kind of like multicolored beads so pretty I love jewelry because they just like dress up and accessorize any outfit instantly look so much chicer and cuter oh they are three separate pieces oh I love that because I could layer them but I could just wear them alone. All right, a little witch's brew drink break. You guys, I just tried this for the first time today. I posted about it on my shorts. So if you haven't checked out my shorts, then make sure to go watch those. Make sure to subscribe below. We're almost to a thousand. That is my next goal. I am super excited. Mm. This shouldn't even be allowed to be this good. And it's so aesthetic. This can is giving me everything you guys purple is my favorite color halloween is my favorite time of year and it's and caramel apple suckers that's the only reason i go to football games <laughs> don't tell my brother-in-law 
<laughs> just kidding. Anyway, um, so my mom and I went to a local craft show, like market thing, and I found the coolest vendor there. I will definitely make sure to link her business name below because you guys if you are into zodiac signs astrology stuff like that she had a bunch of necklaces and i saw this little pisces necklace i can't even explain to you how cute this is i don't know how i'm gonna show it to you either they're little tiny fish the fish of you know the pisces sign it's so minimalistic and gorgeous and it's just like this one little pendant I'm obsessed with this it is longer too and so I'm thinking like this with oh my gosh you guys with my star I don't know why I put it back in this bag with this star necklace the layering options that I'm going to have are amazing and this lady um that I bought the necklace from the local vendor she had some that like had the sign names too that were a little bigger and they said like Pisces, Aquarius, you know, whatever. She had all of them and then she packaged it up in this little like velvet, I wish I still had it. This is a velvet envelope and it had like a little cloth and everything. So I will definitely link her information below because it was amazing and by the way, you guys, none of this is sponsored. None of this. I do not make money off my YouTube videos even. And so, like, I literally am just sharing this haul with you guys because I love it. And I'm excited to share with my friends, with my besties. That is the perfect transition into one of the t-shirts that I got. Because I got this from a local vendor too. I don't think I have her card, but you guys, on Etsy, if you're looking for anything like cute, I'll show you this as an example. This amazingly adorable shirt, I hope I'm in frame, is so cute. Fall vibes. I don't usually go for tie-dye, but I was like, around the house, it's so soft. I love it. I'm very picky about shopping, and I think that like, if you can find stuff on Etsy, stuff at like local craft shows or, you know, markets, that's the place to do it because they're not even bad prices. This was $12, which is so comparable to if you found this at Marshall's or something or Amazon, like it's probably cheaper than Amazon. And the other day I did not have a good experience with Amazon clothing and I'm kind of like just put off by it because it was like $40. I bought this dress for... $40 and I sat in the car and the seatbelt it was a 30 minute car ride the seatbelt like completely trashed the fabric and so I'm like I cannot online shop but I just love this and then also I found a very cute fall crew neck at a local boutique and I do love boutiques for like specialty pieces I do think that their high prices are really good for stuff that you're gonna wear for a long time but they had this crew neck for like $48, which is a lot. And it said like fall, it said hello pumpkin. And as much as I loved it, I looked up on Etsy, like hello pumpkin crew neck, and they had them for half the price. And so it's still supporting local. It's just being a little pickier or it's still supporting, you know, like small businesses, but it's still, it's finding better prices, if that makes sense. So I thought this was absolutely adorable, perfect for just a fall day, like a casual day at home, or you could put this under a shacket, stuff like that. And I don't normally buy t-shirts, and then I always regret it because I'm at home and I'm like, I have nothing to wear, like nothing cute and comfortable to wear. It's either really ugly and comfortable or like really fashionable, and I'm not gonna wear, you know, a dress to clean the toilets. So this was perfect. From Target I got this matching set and I'm really excited about it because it's so soft I got these sweatpants they have a drawstring um, waistband and they have this cuff at the bottom and so they're very very soft I love just the plain black color and then I got the matching cropped hoodie crew neck I mean there's no hood 
And so they're oversized, but they're cute because they're a matching set and very cozy. I'm probably just going to wear like a bralette type thing underneath this. And then I'm going to wear this to the airport tomorrow. And then since we are going to Orlando, I wanted some updated tank tops. I have so many crop tops and those are great except for when I'm, you know, on my period and I don't feel like wearing a crop top and I'm bloated and I wanted to have like really lightweight, great options for summer that were tight and form fitting and I still make me feel like sexy and cute, but not cropped. So I got these from Target. This tank top, I liked that it was neutral, um, racerback style tank, just simple tank. It was only $8. And then I got the same exact um, style in this green color. My husband was like, that's really green. He's like, it's really like St. Patrick's Day green. But I was like, there's something about it with my dark hair. I feel like it just makes me look really tan. And I think it's a good, you know, I got one neutral one and one bright one. And then I have a pink one here at home. And then I got another tank top. Um, but this is a different style. It's a little shorter, but it's not cropped. And the back is a little different. And it's just, I don't know, it's just a little different. I think it's like maybe a little bit of a lower neck. So I got this nice like fall color because I could put this under something too for fall. Um, but it's kind of like a neutral color. And then I got that same exact tank top in a light pink version. So cute. And then I got like the coziest, comfiest outfit because I wanted to like start getting into a little bit of oversized tees, but I didn't want them to be graphic. And I didn't want them to be too big. So I found this. It's like got this nice like casual like rolled bottom. And it's oversized but it's like cute. It has cute stitching. Like casual cute stitching. Paired with these biker shorts. Because I have some biker shorts but they are very long. Like very long biker shorts. So they're very like mom style I guess you could say and sometimes I want to feel like a 23 year old you know and so I got these they're not like super short spandex but they're like the perfect in between I almost wish I got two pairs of these and two of these because this outfit chef's kiss this with like a little crossbody bag or one of those um what are they called like the fanny packs but like right here you know the, the lululemon the famous one maybe i'll get one when i'm in florida i know in disney springs they have a lululemon so i might on purpose wear this to disney springs and then be like chandler go to lululemon try it on how cute is this <laughs> just kidding i probably won't because i do have a kate spade crossbody black bag that will also be really cute with this and I thought that was perfect for the parks too just like comfy casual walking around a lot and then also those tanks will go great with some denim shorts grand finale you guys I got a new pair of Birkenstocks I'm so excited so I was like do I really want to buy sandals when it's about to be, well it is fall so it's like fall here in Michigan anyway. Um, I know in Florida it doesn't really feel like fall, so I was like, well, we're still going to Florida, you know, for a week. I will have them for years to come, and I think it's just time to buy a new pair of Burks because the ones that I have are brown and they're older. I've had them for years. So these, I originally went to this store to get platform Birkenstocks. But I was there and I'm like, I always reach for my Birkenstocks because I can walk in them. And the platforms were very bulky. I'm like, I don't know if I'm going to reach for these. So I got the white version. I think these are absolutely gorgeous. They're neutral. They'll go with everything. But they're a little bit more modern than, let me show you guys the ones that I have up right now, than these brown ones. They're a little more feminine, which I like because literally my brother-in-law has these. I got these so many years ago, um, but they are so comfortable and I just 
love how comfortable they are. Like, why can more shoes not be cute and comfortable? So I'll be able to walk around in the parks in these. I will have them for years and years and years. And I love that they're white, neutral, gorgeous, feminine. Oh my gosh. I am so excited to wear these. So that is my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. This was a very, very fun video to make. I feel like I'm just sharing with my besties all the stuff I got. I don't go shopping a lot. Like that's why I don't do a lot of hauls because I try to either thrift things. I could make like a thrifting haul though. That would be really fun. Um, or I try to, you know, just use what I have and be mindful and not spend like all my money because I sort of hate consumerism and I never want to just be like the girl to keep up with the Joneses and make herself go broke by doing that and so I'm pretty frugal and pretty um, smart about how I should spend my money. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!